Rose. The new DLC that just came out a couple days ago. I meant to give you guys some day one content. However, I'm a little late to the party. So, here's some day three content. We're going to be playing on standard mode. And let's see what they uh, they have in store for us. Hey, okay. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. I'm just enjoying the day. You said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation, because I already told him that's not happening. See what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. No, oh, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Me? I. If I worry about you, how is um? How are things at school? <laughs> Seriously, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? Like people with mean girls still hassling you? I mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Hey. Uh uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. I know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. They knew what I really was. So... You don't have any friends you can talk to? <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human? How I'm some kind of horrendous monster? <laughs> Hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. If there were a way to get rid of your powers. I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. You already know about Miranda and the mutamycete, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subjects. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No. No, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean, enter its consciousness? Oh, it's okay, so... You... Your... Deep connection... Will allow you to... Explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous. Right? Think of it just like... Walking through somebody else's memories. You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? Uh, how do I even do this? <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. Okay. Fine. What the hell?
Uh, that's a lot of pressure. High school, and then people just being like, you're a powerful weapon. I could see that. <laughs> Must be annoying. I'm still here. Kay. Kay? Where are you? Kay! This isn't right. Miranda's research claims that Megamycete preserves the memories of people who passed away within the area of influence, absorbing them into its own vast consciousness. We also know, based on our previous encounters with the mold, that people who are contaminated with the Megamycete are connected in a kind of mold network. If we extrapolate from this, we can summarize that subjects within a strong affinity to the Mutamycete should be able to use the network to connect to the memories of the dead within the Megamycete. It should be possible to verify this theory using the lab's Megamycete sample we collected 16 years ago. We just need to need a suitable subject with a proven connection to the mold. Unfortunately, this priest presents a problem. Our organization's policies prevent us from directly contacting civilians who are infected with mutamycete. Certainly the ethical reasoning is understandable, but it, it has rendered the confirmation of the theory impossible. The confirmation of the theory impossible. It pains me to think of how much mankind could stand to benefit from the preservation and indexing of human consciousness. The possibilities of preserving or even reclaiming great minds, perhaps. There's some way of cutting through the red tape. <clears throat> There's rules for a reason, my guy. Uh, we're also playing in the uh, third person view as well. That's one of the newer updates. So we get to see just about everything around us, which is pretty cool. Honestly, I like the view a little bit better. It makes me feel like, especially if we're playing a character that's not like an OC or anything, you know? It's always nice to have the option to switch it up though too catch things that you didn't see in the other view. Hmm. It's a shoe. I feel like it's a trap. That's what it is. Alright, cool beans. Ruddy roof. So gross. What is this? Reminds me a lot of uh, some Devil May Cry things. You can see the similarities in the two uh, stories and art. Yeah, let's look. 
let's let the creepy uh, voice on the other side out. Seems like a great idea. Really? Creepy ghost. Who are you? To create... Cre <clears throat> Sorry, tongue tied. To create art, it simply add the rabbit's carcasses. Decoy is not an issue. Note, spruce them up with a bit of makeup. It makes them seem more alive. Okay. That's weird. We're gonna go this way so we don't find out. Hello? Person on the other side? What's this? I need answers. Okay, I don't need answers that bad. Let's just follow ourselves. The version of us that looked like it didn't make it out. For real, it's not letting me run as fast as you. Thought you were me. through the rapid hole.
Ben, you all look just like me. Do you know what's happening here? Oh, no. Hey, are you Go. listening to me? And the switch handles the gate. What is this? Some kind of way to backtrack. Don't quite want to go through there yet. We have another door here. It's a lot of dead roses. That's a little freaky. Kind of feel like we should have did that in first person mode. That was uh, quite the sight. Did that really? Oh god! All right, so we got the handle, so let's just get back to where we were. Hopefully we don't run into anything too crazy. Look, I just like to have a chance to defend myself. Ah, we might have messed up. There's not really an Audi on this one. As you can see, the outcome isn't too great, so let's try to avoid that. Okay, where do I run to, though? Okay. Duh, that should have been obvious. Seriously. No way. Oh my god. Hey, this room looks familiar. Oh, 
I don't know, but keep running. Tom Riddle, is that you? Okay. What were those things? What is happening here? How? What is this? Where am I? Not until I get this. Out of my body. There's a crystal here that will remove the mold. I, I need to find it. And I'm not leaving until I do. Who are you? M my guardian angel? Do you have a name? If you're an angel, then... Gabriel? Michael? Okay. Michael? <clears throat> Ethan. What now? Uh, speculation, of course. I don't know anything. not people. into running it would have made the chase that much more thrilling uh, let me go let me go yo what the hell it would seem this little rabbit lacks the necessary fortitude uh. <laughs> a pity you had shown a little grit and actually escaped that purifying crystal would now be yours the crystal How fast this one is. Find her! Hunt her down! Alright, so it seems the Duke's gone from being a friendly helper to a very creepy, disgusting, you know, fat blob of himself, of what we would expect him to look like, but. Oh gosh. Um. Oof. Okay. But he's definitely not a good guy. So that just like leads me to think about the merchant from uh, the fourth Resident Evil game. Was he a good guy? Was he actually a helper? 
Oh god, I can't wait for the remake. <coughs> you don't say. Seriously? Where am I gonna get a gun? What, like... This? Oh, no, 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 Okay, so those definitely aren't the answers. I wonder where I might find the next rabbit. They're gone. This must be the crystal. Disciples await their mask, bronze, silver, gold, with the grab arrayed. The light shall be released. Alright, so we won't be going that way. key for that do we try to go out this door yet okay so we can't go out that door so let's just keep moving forward some bolt cutters. That's not going to really do us any good. Let's see. You could back me up against those things. What? So I'm on my own? Great. Oh. I didn't even notice that those that's what was binding these doors together. Um Lumpy thing? How am I supposed to break it? My powers. I literally came here to get rid of them. Okay. 
Fine. But how? What am I supposed to do? What's that? I can use things to combine them together. Herb plus chem fluid. Gunpowder plus, gunpowder plus chem fluid. There might be more items I can combine. I need to do whatever I can to survive. I'm just wondering, like, these rooms have changed. Someone been living in these areas? Well, I mean, maybe, because. Ah! Oh no, he got my nose. Is this thing? No way I'm waiting through that. Maybe I can find a way across. This is Lady Demistrius's room, or however you say her name. I still never learned. Judge me if you will. Nice little dead in there. I found a means of dramatically destabilizing parts of the mutamycete network of introducing a disruptive force to block the auto inducers they use for communication for example the hard packed cores of mold known as slirotia begin to break down on a cellular level and disintegrate when the dis when thus disrupted sclerotia or however you say it i'm sorry these words are like yeah okay I'm not I'm not very I'm not super intelligent. Form when the immunomycete develops in new locations, serving as a sort of anchor point or foothold. They're often associated with a patch of liquid void through which the mold has spread. When the auto inducers of the sclerotia are disrupted, it begins to break down. Any liquid void connected to the sclerotia will also disintegrate. It would appear that destabilizing the sends a signal indi indicating that location is no longer viable for mutamycete habitation triggering a full-scale retreat so what am 
I supposed to do with this thing? Focus? All right. I feel different somehow. See if this works. All right, so we got a new power to use on the cores. We're uh, stuck in this memory, I suppose. I don't. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but uh, we're being surrounded by all kinds of. Uh, I'm not even sure what these guys are. This, this thing's a little confusing. She can't even tell what she's in. It's definitely a memory. We got some guardian angel named Michael helping us. But if you guys want to see what happens next, you know, like and subscribe. I'll keep making content. And I'm ready for the next video. See you guys next time.